He's got it. And the Canes have got him for no gain as Chad Thomas, the senior end, grabbed him. Play action. And Wimbush delivers. Deflected. And almost intercepted in it. Watch the linebacker play here, anticipating a quick throw. They freeze and they wait. They wait and then they go up. Perfect job by Shaq. Haynes rush only three. Wimbush has time and delivers a strike. Bouncing off tacklers there is Kevin Stefferson. And the different wrinkle from them on that third down. Now it's Adams on first down. This is heavy traffic. Picks his way but gets nothing. And feed Adams again. He is a true home run hitter. He went four. Haynes rush for Wimbush delivers another strike and equimenius St. Brown a first down catch at the Miami 35 lane and he takes advantage of it Two third down conversions and now a first down throw Wimbush for the end zone St. Brown over his hand watch how he works to the middle He's gonna take the safety Jaquan Johnson with him and that opens it up behind there one-on-one -on -one. Another throw from the pocket. Throw off the hands of the crossing receiver. Yeah. He was disappointed by Claypool's drop right there. Now on third down, Wimbush is chased, pursued, retreats, and just heaves it down the sidelines. Incomplete. Incomplete, Mike. Five yards in his three runs in that first possession. Toss sweep. And Miami comes up, hits him, but Adams able to bounce in the game. Adams has it again, and he is dragged down for a short game to touch. The call, option look, the pitch in the boundary, and the Canes stuff it out and smother him for a loss. Jaquan Johnson, yes, sir. Wimbush pulls it almost through a pick. Boy, twice Wimbush has put with interceptions. Now they hand it to Adams on second down, a short gain. He is Lee Jones, motions out. Haynes only rush three, throw high, there's the pick. Jaquan Johnson will be the first wear of the turnover chain tonight. His third interception this season. Rocked by two touchdowns in a minute 28. Looking to throw in first down, Wimbush cannot escape, dragged down on the end. Goes to man to man. Wimbush is used to being able to get outside, being able to make plays with his speed. He's not used to. Out quick so far. Second and 13, Wimbush delivers a low throw and it's incomplete. Gonna go low. He had the two third down completions, first drive, but he's two for nine. And now in third and 13, Wimbush trying to get it with his legs, and he'll be slammed down far short. Atten untracked, just 16 yards rushing. They feed it to him, and Josh around that vaunted left side. Tonight, into those linebackers. Got it again, run and left. And they, they, yeah, he... It just, for the slow developing plays, it's that matchup we wanted to see. Who's going to win that matchup? Miami doesn't feel threatened. Need Delaney that time. Bush, he's dangerous scrambler here. Got to hurry. Just get it off. And Wimbush, under immediate pressure, does take off. Shows the athletic ability. Fights near the marker at the 34. Wimbush, typically, he tries to work through his progressions. It's an area that he's been improving. There was the spy. He made him miss. But Brian Kelly senses some urgency. An early gamble from Kelly. Adams got it. And fights and battles and stretches for Notre Dame offensive line. They've been blowing people off the ball all year. These linebackers from Miami are getting downhill. The defensive linemen are getting off blocks. Adam. Typical. And motion another one. Wisher. Adams again trying to run left, but they have had their way all side. This has been happening all game. Watch how quick he's shooting gaps. I mean, they're, they're penetrating, and it's not always on the play side. It just feels too slow, the execution. This is Jones, has some space around the left side, a rare positive running. Well, well, we'll, we'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, Cassidy, third down. Adams not going to get there. Another slow developing play. Close from the edge. This time it's Pinckney, 56, the linebacker. See Thomas come down there and get involved as well. Notre Dame really had that look since the loss to Georgia, has he? Mm -mm. 
Looks to throw on first down, delivers high, intercepted. Malik Young looking for a block, spun down inside the 10 as the turnover chain will make its second appearance tonight. And very quick, he makes quick decisions, gets the ball out. And a handoff for a keep on the edge there by Pinkney. He has ruined it. Start the Carolina game. You got to win. You feed Adams. And I'll tell you what, if you got this guy in this offensive line and, and you this defense needing eight on third down. Here they come. And they swarm him. Book escapes and just heaves it into the bench. He did get it across the line. He walked up. They're showing it right here. They're coming and coming after him. Trying to make him feel uncomfortable. They get to him. It's the freshman Bandy, and eventually he just throws it away. How about Manny Diaz? Book. Still in the game. Adams still trying to get wide. And the Canes still stacking him up. That was. He just doesn't look like he's got enough juice to run against this defense. Cuts it back. Adams picking his way. Still looking. Against Miami on third and one, Book looks to throw and a completion in the flat. And as they do move the sticks, Kevin Stefferson makes his second catch tonight. Oh, yeah, good read. Irish with one timeout, approaching a minute 30. Book from the pocket throws downfield to St. Brown and makes a catch and is knocked down. Not a chance to get down to protect himself. And feed Tony Jones. The middle is clogged and. Sophomore from St. Petersburg and is behind Book. They fake it to him. Book has to elude pressure. He's got room to run. He's not Wimbush fast, but he's a pretty good athlete, and he scoots for a first down inside the 45. Yeah, step up and get some good yards. He got out of bounds. They move from their eight to the Miami 42. Book again under pressure. Low throw. Catch made by Jones. He's knocked down inbound. Book climbs the pocket. Delivers a downfield throw and a danger jump ball incomplete almost. Adams is back in the game. Book delivers a dart intercepted. Look out. Trajan Bandy the true freshman. Break out the chain again. Maybe Miami the best team in the country. Can you imagine saying that two weeks ago as Adams Knocked down. This was the team that was the lowest ranked. Hot returns at quarterback for Notre Dame. Nice well, to get Adams going. He is tracked down. Hit early by Chad Thomas and wrestled in the first quarter. They said it was not a concussion, but he just wasn't right. Doesn't look right tonight. They swing it near side. And the catch is made by Clay. 25 yards a game on the ground. They have 71 right now. Third and 13. Wimbush. Flips it short and the low throw makes it awkward for Elise Mack. The tight end stumbles there. And Bush around the left end scoots out of bounds after nine and added to the lead. Dexter Williams is battling some injuries in the backfield now. Wimbush back to throw. Flips it downfield to St. Brown. Have to keep an eye on whether he returns to this game. All right, Tom, thank you. Wimbush under pressure looking to chuck it downfield. Instead, it's dragged down for a loss by Zach McLeod, uh, the much quicker Kane's front. Wimbush on second and 11 feels the pressure again, able to step free and delivers underneath the Smythe. And the Brandon Wimbush, he's right here. Watch him go out. But if the key is that Wimbush keeps the play alive. This defender ends up coming up, leaves the wide receiver, and then he makes it. feed it to Dexter Williams, a back who's got some speed, the junior. Young man from the state of Florida. Well, they've been stuck in first gear all night, this offense, so they could use a gear shift. Yeah. As Wimbush is going to be wrestled down. It's a stand-up sack as Joe Jackson. The left tackle, watch 68. Trying to keep him outside. Wimbush climbs the pocket right into the arms of Joe Jackson, who has a make your own highlight reel. And they have. On third and eight, Wimbush a throwback near side. Stefferson gets a block and darts for a first down. In Wimbush again harassed and sacked. 
That was Trent Harris showing some speed off the edge. Deal with Trent Harris. Watch how quick he goes right by him. I mean, Woo. it's like he knew the snap count and Haynes, he didn't. I mean, he jumped. Have a chance to get outside to help out. Four sacks for the Kings to go with the three interceptions. And now Wimbush, very effective. Blitz again. Wimbush lobs it for the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Going up and getting the football there is Alize Mack, the tight end, and the Irish finally on the scoreboard 12 seconds in the quarter. And a nice job by Wimbush throwing it up in the air where Mack at 6-4 can make it. See how he puts it up in the air? That's a big time. Dexter Williams is the back. Wimbush on the run, cuts it back and scores. And starts jawing to the Canes defenders. Average for 10 5 to play. Wimbush in front of Dexter Williams looking to take a downfield shot and does launch it for Stefferson in the coverage and almost another takeaway. Sheldrick. Williams makes a cut. And nice run in traffic out near the 35. Defense. Very few creases tonight. No, man. Third and one. Williams starts forward. And the first down across the 40. Guard. Wimbush from the pocket has time, launches downfield, and laying out is a good point. He, didn't, he did go up and get that ball in the end zone. Blind side, ball taken away. Garvin, who had a similar strip sack last week, does it again, forces it, recovers it. Give that man the turnover chain. Demetrius Jackson is down. He's not able to play this year. Jonathan Garvin's been asked to step up. He gets the chain. Watch his speed. Watch the left edge. Watch how quick he gets around and uses his hands. McGlinchey not moving his feet. Bats that ball down in the press. Next going to Madison. They might have something to say about the undefeated Badgers who look good today, right? Yeah. Down there at number five for you. So <laughs> heads up on that. And St. Brown working hard, breaks free. For the 30 yard line and the ugly incident, it just kind of went downhill. Wimbush, a frustrating night. At times, this game looks too fast for him. A flag comes in as he makes a big, a 20 yard run and a 15 yard penalty. It's first and five now. And Wimbush yeah. flushed again, has some room, level with the line of scrimmage as he runs out. At one point, he'd be benched in this game for the backup, Ian Book. There's a throw incomplete over the middle. The one thing they'd done brilliantly. Tech and Notre Dame dominating in both games. And Bush over the middle, and the catch is made by Claypool, who's knocked down. They got in the final two minutes. Hand off and nothing doing. I think he's going to be about a foot short. McIntosh stopped by Chad Thomas.